under the sea, there are so many incredible animals. But have you ever heard of the feather star? While they may look like plants, they certainly are animals. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you five things you need to know about these beautiful animals. So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. Feather stars are in the phylum Echinodermata, which might sound familiar if you've seen my starfish video. Now echinoderms have a thing for the number five. They're what's known as pentamerous, which means they are radially symmetric with five arms. Now you may be looking at the feather star thinking, hmm, seems a bit much. Some individuals may have more than five arms. However, the number of arms will always be a multiple of five. Isn't that neat? But what happens if they lose an arm? Well, it turns out they're like the doctor in that they can regenerate. Well, at least their limbs. Some species can grow up to 150 arms. See, a multiple of five. However, regeneration isn't all it's cracked up to be. In some species, their arms regrow back very slowly at less than a millimeter per day. Speaking of regeneration, a recent study has found that feather stars have actually been able to regenerate their arms faster in warmer waters, which could prove useful if water temperatures continue to rise at the rates they currently are. Feather stars and sea lilies, which are also known collectively as crinoids, are one of the oldest living fossils on Earth. In fact, another animal of the deep, the frilled shark, which we saw earlier in one of my videos, is also known as a living fossil. And that's because, well, these guys have been around for quite some time. In fact, with feather stars, they've been around for over 200 million years. That is nuts. But as far as lifespans go with the ones that are living today, scientists are still unsure for how long they can actually live for. Shows there's always still something to learn, eh? I'd say if feather stars had to play in a sport, I think they would be rather good while well, obviously at swimming, but also baseball, because they are quite the catchers. And that's because they're rather jointy, quite literally. Their legs have 40 to 50 joints each, which they're showing off here with their rather impressive flexibility. And they also need to be quite good at catching because they need to spread their arms out to catch food that's passing in the currents around them. So, would the feather star be one of your favorite echinoderms? Let me know down in the comments below. Speaking of echinoderms, if you want to learn more about sea stars, be sure to check out my video right here. Go on, click it. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.